What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. Okay, this is part two. If you're interested in seeing part one of what I did to get my hair like this, I'll leave the link in the description box below. And, okay, so my hair is ready to be detangled. So what I did was I already prepped my hair. And if you want to know what I did to prep my hair, click on the video before this video. And I will also link it in the description box below in case you missed it to get my hair and why I did my hair this way, okay? So I'm going to take these um, twists down. As you guys can see, it looks much more... Uh, it's more stretched at the root. What I'm going to do is, since it's been a while, I'm just going to re-moisten just the outsides of the each ponytail. I'm just going to re-moisten them up to get a little bit more, you know, a little moisture in them. They're good to moisturize on the inside. I'm just moisturizing them. Well, spraying a little bit of spray on the outside, that's all. You know, because I have to make sure I take good care of my edges, girl. My edges. And my nape. Okay, so that way when I pull it, you know, anything that might be a little bit too dry, it ain't going to come out with it. So the first thing I do with my hair, and I take my hair down and kind of finger comb it, finger pull it through with my fingers and see if I can like get my fingers through it as much as I can and get any of the big tangles out. And once I'm done getting as many of the big tangles out as I can, I will then go through it with my wide teeth comb. Now, ever since I have been on a cancer journey and I lost a whole lot of my hair, I only use one specific comb. Sometimes I would use another comb if I can't find this one. But this is the comb that I use. It's called Magic Star. Um, this is the Hercules comb. That's what it is. Hercules comb. I'll do a review on it if y'all really want a review. But it's, it's not really nothing complicated. It's just a big old wide tooth comb. And it costs it a lot. I, I bought this comb when I was stressed out. You know, when my hair was really falling out, I was like a scared. So there was no other way to comb my hair. So look y'all, I didn't really have to work hard. As you guys can see, I started from root. No, I started from the ends, going all the way up to the to the base of my hair here, which would be technically called this 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 hair. This is called the hair shaft, if I'm going to be technically speaking, child. But you know, start from the ends, going up to the root of the hair. So once I get it combed through, ooh, child. Once I get it combed through all the way, like if I could touch my scalp and bring this comb out, you got to be able to touch your scalp and bring it out to consider your hair to be fully um, detangled. If you can't put this comb and touch your scalp, touch your actual head and bring it through, then your hair is not fully detangled. Well, when you get to that point where you can get the comb through fully, then it's completely detangled. So now what I'm gonna what I'm gonna go back and do is put my hair back into the ponytail that it was just in. Back in there and get it ready for the next step, which is washing. And I do each individual ponytail the same way. Each little individual. Now I'm just going to take my hair separated into two right here. Right here. Separated into two. And just pull it a little bit. Trying not to, you know, break none of my hair. And um, I'm going to twist it back up. And twist it back around like I had it before. It's the same. I'm putting. I'm putting it in the same thing. The only difference is I've detangled this section. The other three sections have not been detangled, and I am going to detangle them sections. The other three sections have not been detangled yet, and as you guys can see, I'm going to do them sections one at a time. I'm not going to twist it back around though. Okay, so for the next section, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Untangling the ponytail. 
pulling it apart like this just to get any tangles. Now you want to make sure you be careful with your hair. Y'all sorry because my husband just walking in and out. And if y'all know me enough now, I don't my move my beauty room, my beauty station to the front room. So I'm at the front of the house right now. So um I'm just gonna try to slide these off easily. They they'll slide up, do the gentle pull like that. And I'm going to go through. It feel a little dry right here, so I'm gonna mist it just a little bit. And it feel a little dry now. Oh, that's it! Feel a little dry right there. So wherever it feels like it might have got a little bit dry, yet, I'm going to massage some more moisture back in it before I detangle it. So I'm just gonna take my fingers and run my fingers through just like I did the first two, the first one. And once I get done with this first one, once I get done with this second one, then I'll just show you guys. I'll probably go off camera and just come back because y'all don't need to see all four. If you've seen two, you've seen four, okay? Same thing. So once I get, get my hair untangled enough where I can put my fingers through, then I will bring the comb through. Now, the purposes of put, detangling it with your fingers is so you can make sure you got it detangled before you put the comb through it. And with your fingers, you can feel where the actual tangles are in your hair. You can feel it. With the comb, you can't feel where the tangles are until you put the comb through it and it gets stuck. So with your fingers, you'll be able to um, pull it through gently and get those big tangles out before you actually run the comb through them and pop them by accident. So, oh my God. Okay, so once you get your, once I get my fingers through, I forgot where the hell I was. So once I feel like I have gotten my fingers to the point where I can just go through with ease, then I will follow that through with a comb. And if I get a tangle like this, like my hair started to tangle up here, like right here, I can't get it through. I just take it and pull it like this and don't don't snatch through it pull it apart don't just take it and keep going through and just pull it down when you feel a snag you stop and then once you get that snag you stop and you pull it so it'll pull apart and not pull down because if you pull it down it's going to continue to twist within itself and you're going to pop out strands of hair like that so now that i got my fingers through it i'm going to take the comb and start from the ends and work my way up to the top Now, if at any time you ever want to apply um, some more moisturizer, feel free to do so because sometimes it's just the moisturizer will help just a little bit easier, make it look, make it a little bit easier for you to go ahead and detangle the whole thing. And there is a difference between this comb and your average wide tooth comb. Not that much of a difference, but it's enough of a difference that I can tell because I'm very, 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 very tender headed. Like very, very tender headed. And <laughs> this comb is much better than my ordinary wide tooth comb. Now, if y'all want me to do a video of a side by side of my comb, then uh, let me know in the comment section below, you know, and then I will do so. But for right now, we detailing, honey. So once I get to the point where I can actually go in and touch my scalp like that and pull it through, then I'm done. Not just through one side, through the front, underneath, and the top. Not just one time. You got to do it at least four or five times in each spot, you know? Once I get to that point, then my hair, I will consider my hair fully detangled y'all then i will go back just like i did the other side and put it back in the into the ponytail that it was in these are the smallest little ponytails why they got need to be screaming i don't know lord jesus these are the smallest little ponytails in the house though. 
I buy these for I buy these for myself because I've been using them for a long time, and I also have been buying some more for Nivea's little ponytails. So. So I got that side done. And once I before I twist it, I just comb through it a couple of more times to make sure it's good and detangled. And then I will twist it back up. Now I'm detangling my hair, and my next step is to shampoo my hair, wash my hair, whatever you want to call it. So stay tuned to the next video. And I'm going to show you how I wash my hair I think I think I'm gonna be able to show you how I wash my hair but for now you can put these put my hair full pigtails and I'll be back <laughs> 